Good morning. It is our last live together of this program. <clears throat> We're going to do abs today. 20 minutes of abs. More like 15 minutes. We'll do 15 minutes of abs. Nice warm up. Nice cool down. And you are out of here. Good morning, Danielle. <clears throat> Feels like a Wednesday, you know, the Wednesday hits and you know your body is really sore by Wednesday and you still have two more days left. <laughs> My body is aching today. I think I say that every live with you guys, just so you know that I'm hurting with you. Yeah, my booty is still sore from last week. I think I did glutes all five days last week with all my lives and stuff that I had to film. So yeah, my glutes are definitely tired. So we're gonna do abs today. A whole lot of planking. We're gonna challenge you guys a little bit today and see how much strength you've built in the last eight weeks. You may surprise yourself. So we're gonna do a nice little warm up. We're gonna do a whole lot of abs. We're gonna do a little stretch and you are out of here. You are gonna need one dumbbell. I'm gonna say, <clears throat> I'm going to say between a 10 and a 15. Again, I want you guys to challenge yourself a little bit today. Um, yeah, so I'm not going to tell you what we're doing. I'm just going to tell you to grab a heavy dumbbell. So between a 10 and a 15, I'm going to say is your range there. I'm going to go ahead and start my watch and my timer. We're going to do a little warm up, a cool down, and you're out of here. Let's just start with a nice run in place here. Just getting the body warmed up. If you are not warmed up already, I just finished my cardio, so this is a perfect little ab burn. Good. If this is too much, then you can just totally step. That's okay. Good. Three, two, one. Wow, beautiful. From here, we're just going to go into some knee drives, driving that knee up. What I want you to do is thinking about engaging your core. So, belly button is pulled in nice and tight to that spine. Good. Chest is up. Shoulders are pulled back. Think about using your core to lift your knee up and drive it in. Good. Ooh, is it bad that I feel this in my legs? <laughs> ah, good. Let's go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Beautiful. We're going to go into some up and overs here. So what I'm going to get you to do is you're going to pop that opposite leg out. Bring that arm up and over. Nice side pull here. And back in. Good. We're going to go right into a side plank here shortly. And we're going to get started. We're not wasting time today. <clears throat> I am going to cue advanced versions today. I would love to see you try the advanced version. I think a lot of you may surprise yourself if you try, but I will give a beginner option as well. Maybe, if I think you need it. But we're working today. We're gonna use those abs. We're gonna see how strong they have got over the last eight weeks. Good. Three, two, and one. Beautiful, make sure you have a mat Nice big space around you. Get rid of your children, your pets, everything like that. I did a live yesterday with my dog and it was, it was a disaster. All right, we're gonna start on that right side. So elbows gonna go right underneath the shoulder. You're gonna go ahead and stack your knees and your feet. Everything is nice and in line, nice and straight. If this is too much here, you just drop that bottom knee. But again, I'd love to see you all up here. Let's go. 
So goal here is to keep that hip tucked up nice and tight. It's gonna to wanna to fall, especially if you aren't engaging that core properly. So really think about pulling it up and there's a nice little angle here because you've pulled it up so tight. Good, three, two, one. Flipping right over, right into that other side. Elbow goes underneath the shoulder, stack those legs, arm is up, hold. Good, make sure you breathe. Put on a pair of shorts this morning that are a little too big. I've got them folded like three times at the top. So hopefully we don't lose our shorts today. Three, two, one. Beautiful, from here we're gonna flip right over into a high plank. Hands go underneath the shoulders, feet straight back, nice and straight. And we're gonna go into a shoulder tap. So one hand, opposite shoulder, goal here, is do not let your body swing like crazy, okay? Nice and controlled. No swinging. Keep that belly button pulled in as tight as you possibly can. And breathe. Good. Three, two, one. Right back to the top. Right into that side plank, lift it up, hold, beautiful. Again, I'm not queuing big breaks today, so if you have to take a second, drop down into that modification, and then come right back up. Good. Whoo, just starting to burn a little bit. That's good, means we're doing something. Five, do not drop yet. Four, three, two, one. Right over, other side. Lift it up, arm is up. Beautiful, hold. Stay with me, I know. Our arms are probably gonna get tired before our core. That's okay, let them get tired. Three, two, one. Beautiful, flip it over, hands underneath the shoulders, feet straight, back, shoulder taps, let's go. Nice and controlled. Pull that belly button in, try not to swing too, too much here. Good. Stay with me. Three. And we're not done. Two. Keep going. And one. Beautiful. Drop it down. We have one more round. I want you just to roll out your shoulders for a sec. Shake it out if you've been trying the non-advanced version, you are modifying. I want you to try the advanced version now. Even if you can only hold for five seconds, I want you to try. Three, two, one, go. Yes, you can. If your arms start shaking and your body is shaking, that is good. It means you're challenging yourself. Let it shake. My arm is shaking a little bit too. <laughs> Good. Five, four, stay with me. Three, two, one, right over. Other side, yes you can. Bring it up, nice, straight. Belly button is pulled up and in. Side body is tight. Breathe. Try and keep that core in. Good. Three, two, one. Bring it down. 
flip it over, high plank, shoulder taps, let's go. I do not want to see you up here, so really make sure that you've got that pelvis tucked, your belly button is into your spine. Form should be getting pretty damn good by now, you guys, so focus on your form. Whew. Yes, you can. Stay with me. Five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Shake it out for a sec. We're going to go into a Superman, followed by crunches into mountain climbers. So, Superman on your stomach. Hands go out, legs go out, you're gonna lift up, squeeze that lower back, drop it down. Ready? All right, three, two, one, let's go. Lift up, squeeze, drop it down. Nice and controlled. Breathe through it. Whoo. Good. When we work our core, our lower back is just as important as they support each other. Without a strong lower back, you have no core. And without your core, you have no strong lower back. And you deal with a lot of back pain. You want to build the muscle around all of that to support it. Three, two, one. Flip it right over onto your back. Feet go flat on your floor. Hands behind your head, not pulling on your head, just supporting. Lift it up, squeeze, drop it down. Think about looking right between your knees when you come to the top. Really, really squeeze and engage, and then release. Good. Breathe out every time you come up. Nice, steady breath in. Breathe out and squeeze. Good. Nice and controlled. Crunches are so simple yet so effective and they can be done wrong so easily. Make sure you're only using that core. Good. One more here. Pull it on up. Squeeze. Slip it over into that high plank. We're going right into mountain climbers. Hands underneath your shoulders. Feet straight back. One knee in at a time. Nice and controlled. We're not jumping the mountain climbers. We're more so focusing on our core, doing all of the work. Just ate a big bowl of cereal before doing this. Probably not a good idea. But I was so hungry I had to eat. Whoo! Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Drop it on down. Arms out, legs out, Superman. Let's go. Good. See myself in the mirror right now. You can see all my nice little gray hairs that I have. It's hair day tomorrow. <laughs> I need it so bad. I got blessed with gray hair super early. It runs in my family, so that's something fun. Whew, good. Pull up and squeeze. You should feel that because your core is getting a little bit tired. So our back sometimes wants to compensate. So really, really focusing on what we're working. Last one, push up and squeeze, flip it over. Hands behind your head, not pulling. Nice deep breath in. Breathe out, push. Good. Again, notice how slow and controlled I'm going because I'm really, really focusing on every part of my abdominals. Connecting as I come up, I give it a good squeeze. 
and then I drop down to the ground. Good. Good, one more here. Flipping it over into mountain climbers. And go. Hands underneath the shoulders, feet straight back. Drive it in. Yes, you can, stay with me. One more round after this. We're gonna finish off with that dumbbell. Woo. Good. Back is nice and straight. Driving through that core. Five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. One more round. Dropping down. Superman's in three, two, one. Go. Ooh. The dogs are up to no good up there. <laughs> you hear him barking? He's probably barking at his sister. Ooh. Good. Let's do three more. Three. Two, one, beautiful, flip it right on over into those crunches. Oh my word, my core is getting tired. Lift it up and squeeze. Good. Nice deep breath in, breathe out, push. <laughs> Good. Core on fire yet, or is it just mine? It is burning. Good, let's do three more. Three, two, last one. Beautiful, flip it right on over. We have mountain climbers, hands underneath the shoulders, feet straight back. Make sure that belly button is pulled in. Drive the knees, let's go. Good. Nice and controlled here. Last set, and then we're moving on with that dumbbell, so stay with me. Good. Push. Yes, you can, I know. Mountain climbers are challenging. They really, really <laughs> work everything in your abdominals, especially when we slow it down and really focus. So stay with me. Three, two, one. Beautiful work. All right, we're gonna grab our dumbbell. We're gonna lay it on down. We're gonna go into lying lap pullovers with pulses. Lap pullovers are great because they work lats, they work chest, but they absolutely work that core with that extension, and then you have to use your core to pull it back in, okay? So, we're gonna grab it like so. Please do not drop this on your face. So, what I want you to do first is make sure that your belly button, again, is into the ground. It is in tight. There is no gap. That is number one. Now when we do it, we make sure we don't let a gap happen, especially when we get here, because we're focusing on core more than anything. All right, dumbbell is up. Belly button is pulled in. You are dropping and pulling. When I say pulse, we're gonna hold it back in pulse. Good. Focus on that core more than anything. Good, you see how much it wants to leave right now and how much you have to concentrate to keep it tight into the floor. Good. Very nice, we're gonna drop it down, keeping that belly button pulled in nice and tight. We're just pulsing here. 
How much harder is it to keep your belly button pulled in? Yes, I know, that much harder. Focus, five, four, three, two, one. Back up, reset if you have to, make sure it's pulled in, there's no gap. Drop and pull. Good, deep breath in, breathe out, pull. Focus, sneaky move. Good, hold it back, pulse. Keep it tight, nice and tucked in, nice and controlled. Five, four, three, two, one. Lift it up, arms are starting to get tired, yes. So reevaluate, is your belly button pulled in? Or are you focusing more on your arm pain? Go. Good. Breathe in. Breathe out. Pull. Whoo. Very nice. Controlled. Focus. Good. Drop it back. Pulse. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, push it up. You don't drop that dumbbell yet. I know your arms are starting to get tired, especially if you went heavier than you thought you could with these. Belly button is pulled in. Go. Yes, you can. Stay with me. Good. Three. Two, one, drop it down, last pulse, belly button, make sure it's tucked. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful work. Drop that dumbbell. We're gonna flip it right over onto our stomach. Hands are gonna come right outside your chest. I'm just gonna get you to pull it up here. Think about pushing your hips into the floor. Pull your shoulders away from your ears. Let your core stretch, let it relax. Beautiful work today. My dog, I tell you, it's gonna drive me mad. Hey! Drive your toes into the ground. We're gonna push it on up and back into a downward dog. What I'm gonna get you to do is you're gonna slowly walk your hands into your feet. Just hang down there for a second. Beautiful. Nice and slowly, very carefully roll it on up. Roll out those shoulders for a second. They did a lot for us today. Good, shake it out. Beautiful work today, guys. That was 20 minutes of abs. And that was also our last live of this program. So super exciting. Be damn proud for making it this far. A lot of people don't. So if you did, Give yourself a big round of applause. Be damn proud of yourself. Celebrate that you have made it this far. And then we go right into the next one. That's it. We don't do breaks around here. All right. That is it. That is all. Have the best day ever. And I will talk to you all soon.